Hi guys. So I've just come on to live so I can show you some more of my processes. Um, I posted a video earlier of a glitter um, sparkle that I did. It's called a glitter... I don't even know, but it's just really pretty because all the glitters just mix in with each other. It's be mainly because of the epoxy resin that I use. When you heat it up, it gets more liquidy. It actually even drips. So once you add the glitter onto it, it starts to make this cute little glitter um, marble. It's really pretty. So tomorrow when I get onto live, I'm going to show you guys the second step of that because it's actually a peekaboo, but it's going to be a wood peekaboo. It's going to be really pretty, believe me. So for now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you the processes of two. So I had originally tried to do um, the tacket method which is something going around on YouTube right now where you add water to like tacky glue and then you put it on your tumbler and then you um, rub the glitter in. But it's only like a specific glitter and it's just not working for me. So I'm gonna move on to step two, which is the original way to, for me to do my glitter. And it's using the epoxy uh, resin method. Um, it seems to just be more easier that way for me. And then also, if I don't, for some reason, like I've done this like five times so far, if I don't like the design, I just rip it all off and start over again. So anytime you're doing something like that, um, as far as ripping off like a really hard plastic, it's a lot easier to do it if your base coat is the epoxy resin. If I ever get a chance to do a video like that, I'll show you guys that later. But for now, we're just gonna do the um glitter with. all right so i have a couple um wine tumblers here this one is a gonna be a mint green see as you see i started trying to do like the tacket method i'm probably gonna try it again because i don't like to be defeated by a crafting technique <laughs> you know if anyone knows, like, doing crafting can be extremely easy and fun thing to do. And I've dedicated, like, a lot of time doing this. So the fact that I've been defeated by a, a tacking method is just mind-blowing. But we're going to save that for another day and another time, okay? We're just going to go ahead and do this um, glitter epoxy method, okay? <laughs> I'm going to do it this time. I'm not going to get mad about the glitter anymore, okay? <laughs> so as I was saying for the first wine tumbler we're going to do a mint green and for a second um, tumbler it's going to be like a rose gold okay all right so always every time you do an epoxy make sure you wear your mask and then you need nitrile gloves it's a very specific glove that you use so the epoxy doesn't seep through okay gotta put my gloves on by the way, this will probably be my last live video um, during the holidays. I will be coming to Virginia for a couple of days um, during the holidays. So I will be away from my craft room. I won't be able to do any special videos. Kind of sad about it, but at the same time, like I feel like I just need a break. Not a break from my craft room, of course, but just like a break from life. You know, a vacation. I don't really need a vacation because, you know, I've had a vacation, but I just need to get away. Oh, so I want to show you guys this stuff. So I went on to, um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I do a lot of epoxy and I got this like silicone mat and I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Like this stuff doesn't sit on, epoxy resin doesn't sit on um, silicone. It just dries up and falls off. So I was like, well... Don't they have like mixing stuff for the silicone? And wham bam, Amazon has these cool like, oh my God, they're so cool. They're, they're silicone cups and you can like pour, you can mix. And then I got these cool like silicone um, spatulas to mix. They're really cool. And then also I got this. So I originally found like a brush at Michael's and it was a silicone brush and it worked for a, a while, but there's a, a very clear difference. Let me show you. So there's 
So here's the brush I got from Michaels. And of course the tip is, it's silicone and the bottom is wooden. The only issue is that this line here is really, really straight. And you wouldn't think that something like that was a difference, but take a look at this one. So this is actually some sort of makeup brush. As far as like what makeup you can apply with this, I have no idea. But if you notice like the, the line to this is like folded, it folded inwards as compared to this one. So when you streak it on, it's like wrapping itself around the tumbler rather than just like a weird straight tip. So I've used both so far and I really appreciate this one. I've only used it once. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I got my cup, I got my measuring cup, I got my stirrer. I apologize if I sound muffled, it's me wearing my um, mask. It's very important when you're using any type, of, any type of epoxy that you wear a mask because when you combine these two, they become toxic. So it's not until 24 hours later after they have hardened is when they become safe for you to use. And if at any point in time you decide to do your own tumblers, make sure that you're using one that's FDA approved, meaning that once it hardens and stuff like that, you can use it for distribution, meaning like people can use it to eat on or drink off of for uh, these type cups. So yeah, this was part B. Part B is usually a little looser than part A. So I always do part uh, B first. And anytime I epoxy, I always put everything back where I get it from. Also, I only epoxy when my daughter is asleep. Because uh, not only is it toxic to me, but it can be really toxic to her. So I only epoxy when she's asleep. When you're epoxying, you do one-to-one -one parts. So the equal amount of part A to the equal amount of part B. And for these two wine tumblers, I'm using 15 milliliters each. They're not very big. So they don't use a lot of epoxy and by any means am I any sort of tutorial whiz so I'm not using this as a tutorial I just want you to see my process how it works you know if you're interested in doing something like this how easy or hard it is um in an opinion wise it can be a little bit of both it can be hard trying to find all the ingredients and or it can be easy because once you get all the ingredients, it's really fun. So now I'm going to go ahead and stir the epoxy. When you first start to stir it, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it's like a milky consistency. Once you start to stir it more, it will come very clear. And it takes a minute for it to mix together. So I'm just going to sing a Christmas song. Um, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe last night. Something, something, but we didn't take a peek. I don't really know the words, but I really like that song that Michael Jackson sings. Oh, I saw mommy tickle Santa Claus. All right, and as I sing, I'm watching my epoxy to see it mix. Um, one more thing that I like to do to my epoxy to try and get rid of the bubbles is use my heat gun. Mm -hmm. 
please remember that when you heat up an epoxy that you're heating up a chemical so it can catch on fire <laughs> so, sorry for laughing but i just can imagine someone lighting epoxy on fire and it just burning down their whole house <laughs> i would hate to buy my house that i just bought a year ago so just remember to be safe okay nice and mixed So there's no wrong or right way to epoxy a tumbler. Some people start say start at the top. Some people say start at the bottom. Honestly, as long as you cover the whole tumbler, is there really a right or wrong way? <laughs> singing I have to keep remembering that there are people watching me do this so if I had it my way I'd just sit here quietly and just do this but I have to keep you guys entertained so on my latest videos that I've been doing I've given you guys like a little background on the name that I chose for my LLC I have chosen the name glitter on purpose and I chose this name because there is a funny, funny comedian that I follow on Instagram and YouTube. His name is Goddamn Zoe. Please excuse my French. But he does this thing when he comes on to um, his YouTube channel or when he does his Messy Monday videos. He says, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P., which is pretty on purpose. And I love that because not only am I pretty on purpose, but I don't like when ugly people sit next to me. <laughs> so I was like, what do I love the most? And since I'm starting on this crafting journey, I'm definitely loving glitter. Glitter, glitter this, glitter, glitter that, glitter, glitter this. So I decided to name my LLC glitter on purpose instead of on accident right <laughs> get it glitter on purpose <laughs> all right anyways not as funny as you would think it would be but it was funny to me all right so and the great thing about this silicone mat is that even though like i'm being really really messy with it what happens is when the epoxy dries, all you have to do is peel it off. That's it. Easy cleanup. Now, as far as like the glitter, I don't know. We're not even going to go there. Okay. Not even going to go there. It's a whole nother process. All right. That looks good. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a piece of paper. Because glittering epoxy, or just glittering, glittering tumblers in general, can be kind of expensive. Especially when you use glitter. So, I after I epoxy, I put glitter on and then I reuse the glitter. And I just put it back where I found it. Back into the container. So make sure you just cover all the areas and I'm filling in all the areas that got left blank for me trying like that other method. I tried to do the tacket method and it just wasn't working out for me. I don't know. I don't know if I'm not using the right type of glue or what, but that's okay. I'll just stick to old faithful, which is the epoxy method. So you guys want to hear a funny story? 
So as I mentioned earlier, I'm pretty frugal when it comes to like just this whole crafting journey. So I was like, oh my gosh, I found this turner for $20, right? And I was like, oh, okay, look, you have to put it together. I got this. So I want to show you guys this, this tumbler, right? Here, this thing. As you see, it's still all open and it's just a mess. I put that thing together. It took me an hour to put it together. Like, it was a hot mess. Like, if you don't know anything about woodcraft, don't get no tumblers that you have to nail and screw together yourself. <laughs> like, y'all, I had to, like, connect to wires and stuff. It was very crazy. Never again, never again will I be doing anything like that. So if you, that's another reason why I'm doing these videos, just so people can appreciate like the craft, the time and the hard work that goes into like doing stuff like this. Like I can only imagine cutting out these boards over and over again and like trying to teach people how to use them. People like me, oh, it's a whole thing. Um, so one other thing that I do after I put the glitter on the epoxy, is I run my heat gun over it. It helps with micro bubbles. And micro bubbles are exactly what I'm saying. It's a bubble that's micro size. So you can't see it. So what happens is that when once the epoxy dries, you can feel the bubbles under your finger. It's not as smooth. So I'll run the heat gun across it really fast. Just so I can knock out some of those uh, micro bubbles. One other thing to keep in mind when you're blow torching your um, epoxy, please do not hold it on the spot for a long period of time. As I mentioned before, what can happen is you can set your um, epoxy on fire, which is something we don't want to do, okay? All right, so let's move on to the second one. So this is my second tumbler. This one is even worse from the first one. As you can see, there was no coverage. No coverage on this whatsoever. I tried. I really did, y'all. Like, I tried. I watched the video numerous times to try and figure out what I was doing wrong. But I couldn't figure it out to save me. So. But as I mentioned earlier, like, I'm not going to let that get me down. I'm going to watch some more videos, try and figure out what I'm doing wrong, and go from there. Because this tacking method that they have seems to bring time down a lot more. Meaning that I can like glitter these tumblers a lot faster than you see me doing it now. So it looks like I have ran out of epoxy. That's a first. So we're just going to add some more. Get our little measuring cup. I really love doing this. I've turned my husband's office. He's really upset about it, but at the same time, he, he sees that my craft is really good. So he doesn't really say too much, but I turned his office into a craft room. I have all these neat tools in here. I bought a Cricut machine. I have an easy press, meaning I can do shirts and stuff like that. I do uh, Christmas ornaments I've done. Like, this is a whole thing, guys. And if you're interested in buying any of my tumblers that you see me working on, um, find me on Etsy at glitteronpurpose.co. Find me on Etsy at glitteronpurpose.co and I've been posting a lot of videos for a while now on Facebook, YouTube, um, Instagram. 
all of the links to my page my glitter on co page are up there all the links to my etsy so you can buy any of these tumblers are up there show love all right y'all show love I work really hard on these. And I just want some love. So here I am again. Mixing my epoxy. Sorry for the song, y'all. It just gets a little tiring. Mixing all this epoxy. And as I mentioned, this will probably be my last live video that I do because we're coming up on the holidays and I mean, I'll still be making tumblers if they're ordered within this week. I can try and finish them within this week. They take three to five days to make and I'll send them out on next Friday, but that'll probably be the last tumbler that I send out only because I wanted to get to you by Christmas and also I will be at home for Christmas. Meaning I will be all the way from my beautiful crafting station. So I will be unable to produce any product. But that does not mean that when I come back from Christmas break, I will be making a whole bunch of tumblers. So like I mentioned, if you want any, I do wine tumblers. I do long skinny. I do peekaboo. I do large 30 inch, 30 ounce tumblers. I can customize them any way that you would like. Just let me know and I can accommodate. Right now I'm I am I uh, am putting epoxy resin on a wine tumbler. This is a Christmas gift that I'm doing right now. I'm not going to tell anybody who it's for. Because he or she may be watching my live video right now. But we're not going to go there. Because I hate to be the one who ruins Christmas by telling anybody what I got them for Christmas. I can tell you how excited I am about this. Because I actually have all my Christmas gifts set up for next year. Like I know what I'm getting everybody or making everybody for next year. So I hope everybody's ready. Um, the reason I'm working so fast is because I already laid a little bit of um, epoxy down on this cup. And what can happen is that there's only a 35 to 45 minute work time in between you putting um, epoxy on something and whatever you're going to do to the epoxy. Whether it be putting on glitter or doing um, alcohol inks, whatever it is. Like you only have a little bit of window. And then as far as curing epoxy. So in order for epoxy to be completely, like when I say completely, I mean like completely hard. It takes three days. But in order for you to be able to touch it and work with it and stuff like that, it takes uh, 24 hours to cure. So that's why I tell you guys that it takes three to five days to finish a one tumbler, depending on what you want. And depending on what type of method that I'm using for the uh, tumbler. For this tumbler, I'm going to use a gold color. It's a Recollections brand and I got this at Michael's and it's super, super fine. So, well, yeah, the glitter is fine. And, you know, I'm fine. So, it just makes sense for me to be using this glitter, right? <laughs> uh, please excuse my jokes. Oh, I forgot my paper. I will be wasting all this glitter. Oh, jeez. Not to be wasted all oh, my glitter. And they tell you to uh, sometimes when you be doing like a glitter epoxy that you need to be wearing short sleeves 
I don't really know why, but so I don't get like dye from epoxy fumes. I have both my windows open and I need to be wearing long sleeves because it's kind of cold in Pennsylvania right now. Apparently it's supposed to snow. So y'all pray for me. So I ain't got to go to work. But here's the thing. My job got a work policy where if it snows, you got to go to the closest office. I said, like, what? So y'all want me to get an accident? But y'all ain't got no good like benefits as far as like me not going to work. So what kind of sense does that make? Who knows? Anyways. All right. So we're all done. I want to say thank you guys for watching. I'll follow up maybe. We'll see what happens as far as the rest of these tumblers go. Um, I may not show you the two that I just epoxy because as I mentioned, they may be for uh, someone who is actually watching my live video right now, but we're not going to talk about that because I'm not the Grinch. I'm Santa Claus. With that being said, Find me on Etsy so you can get your own personalized tumbler for Christmas. Glitteronpurpose.co Merry Christmas, y'all.